Um, moving on to Dennis Ryan. Um, Dennis is the, um, the chairperson of the uh, Workers' Committee at Dell. And then Dennis will give us a perspective in relation to um, uh, what's needed uh, right now from workers um, in terms of coming back out into the market or the, the, the labour market. So, um, Dennis, if we just get the microphone over here, the, the microphone, just in relation to that, Dennis, what, what is it exactly you think that, that you would require and your colleagues would require to help you gain re employment? Well, basically, um, you know, I've worked in Ustad Crops and the building, you know, so I've been flexible in that through my working career. But um, <clears throat> just to touch on Jim, he said a point there about the unions being very strong, but it's the complete opposite with multinationals coming in, where there's no unions at all, you know, where people, you know, it's, it's at the other end of the scale, where people have, you know, their rights are infringed to a certain degree, you know. But there is no representation at all now for the, the dead workers, you know. So I took it upon myself to, to go to the press and uh, I was on my own starting off. But I mean, one of the first phone calls I got was from Matt Mahan, O'Brien Solicitors. They deal with my own personal issues and things like that. And they came on board and my heart kind of sank to, to know that some, a company like that would actually come out of woods and give advice and things like that. The Limerick leader, RTE, Limerick 95, when it was brought out in the open, that you know, they all came on board, we got great post press, you know, and I think we called them in for the so court, and the response was very good from them, you know, for the first time in their history, they actually changed their policy with regards to, you know, any redundancy or anything like that. But I mean, moving on, I think that, I think we said, going forward, as they say, um, I would be asking the government or politicians, whatever, that if there is regulations there, that, that they have to be changed again, you know, it, that if a company comes into this country, that they actually have to have a representation for the workers. You know, that I think if this committee had been in place in the, for the last five or ten years, that, you know, there may have been a small, better outcome to this now at the moment, whereas I find <coughs> that we, we have contacted the Illinois Committee and they've recognised us. And they're, they're very positive, you know, we're sitting in with the, the higher manager now, but they will not reverse the decision to go from the you know. And now it's after creeping out that the, the higher skilled jobs are being affected as well. There isn't even a number put on the, the higher skilled jobs that's going at the moment. So you can put any figure on that. So I don't know. I mean, basically, we have to re-educate the workforce that's coming out of the and other companies associated with them. You know, but at the end of the day, I think the individuals will go out to, we say, like, smaller companies. And I think that's what the key guys, you know, that we have to encourage smaller companies. That, and maybe companies that's there at the moment, that's tax compliant, honest, and have done other things in the past, like everything's awkward. Well, if, if they have to lay out people now, right, why not actually give them the, the 15,000, 20,000 that the government are going to have to pay people and to do all anyway? But so if it keeps a worker in employment in a small company, then I think that 20,000 should be allocated to the employer. If it means that, you know, the employer only has to put 5,000 to that in order for that person to have the wage and keep them on the labor register or office, whatever the case may be. You know, so I think things like that we have to focus on. Well, and again, as Jim said, you know, farms, I mean, we have a lot of land out there that's, you know, you plant apple trees and pear trees, and it's just knowing that, you know, I moved out the city to the country three years ago, and most of the land is just knowing that, you know, you know. So the food industry can be brought on, you know, and everyone knows about the, what we said, how do you set the sign off and um, heat your homes, you know, bring down the cost of things like that. So all these industries can be brought forward now. But I think basically we just have to get back to the basics. Do think things simple, you know, and keep it along the lines. And politicians like who say Mary Harmony, I have the utmost respect for her. Now, I'm not a party person. I vote for an individual that does the work, right? And I think that when she tried to sort out the, in, was it the, the National Health Service, I'm going to every obstacle that could be put on the person to 
prevent them from doing their job. I know this will really take her going good, that they were put on foot for her. And I think she's going very quiet at the moment, and she must be looking back now and saying, well, I was doing my best, and if you could put an obstacle on front of the person, it was put on front of her. And then you can go back to this regulator fella in the bank of uh, AIB, was it? There, that he came over and he said that, you know, he wanted in the past to bring these discrepancies on the open, that he was actually sacked. You know, an individual again. So, you know, you have to you have to go back to the past to learn. But going forward, you have to improve things like that. So, it's, of course, the unions are powerful. But when you see a company come in and get a free run, we say like any, I just said, uh, but you know, in any multinational company. But uh, there's well, just one final point before you go on in that Europe Packard announced uh, redundancies the same day as they. Now, sometimes in the meantime, to reverse that decision and now to employ 500, I think, in the immediate future and a thousand over the next two or three years. And with the likes of um, striker in selling in the like, you know, they're taking on people. So there is things happening, but we're just not seeing them at the moment because, as it was rightly said there, that it's, we're so focused on getting bankers and things like that that we're not concentrating on what we should have to do ourselves. So, uh, I think I have something for that. Okay, very good.